so I wanted to make um, a tag video uh, I love watching tags uh, there are a lot of really cool tags uh, online already but I thought it would be awesome well first to, to write a tag by myself and then to have a, a pet tag because as you may know I have a pet uh, I love her to death and I think this can be a, a really a really cool tag so well it's only uh, 11 questions so it's not that long I've seen tags with uh, 15 20 questions so well 11 I don't think that's that bad so the first question which and how many pets do you have right now I only have one I have a dog and she will be three in January so she's not uh, a grown-up already but well I think she will always be a, um, a puppy at heart so well two uh, did you adopt or buy your pet I adopted I I really believe we shouldn't buy our pets because there are so many dogs and cats and other types of pets that are in shelters and on our streets and why would you buy a pet when you can just go to a shelter and adopt one well I don't I don't know why that happens and we can you could just adopt one and save that life because when you're adopting you are saving a life three how many pets did you have growing up well we had a farm so we had sheep and uh, farm dogs and other animals but uh, house pets we had two dogs growing up we had uh, we got them when I was seven and my sister was ten and we each got a dog and my sister got a poodle here his name was Goldie and he was the best dog um, and I got as you can see in the in the photo well sorry sis had to show it um, I got well the the white one was Goldie as I said and the black one was my dog and he was a hunting dog and his name was Poopy um, I had Poopy for about one year because we moved from um, a house to an apartment and he was a hunting dog and well it was impossible to have him in an apartment so well as you can see here's my doggy this is Nev say hi hello well continuing so uh, in the photo uh, I think they were each about two three months old and Goldie uh, lived for 19 years unfortunately we had to uh, put him down in January 2010 because he was really old and really sick but he lived he lived with us for 18 years so that's that's amazing and that's most of my life and I love that dog so number four uh, what is your best pet related memory so far well I have to say that any memory with Goldie because he was the best dog you can possibly imagine and I love how he would run around the house um, just because and how he, he would uh, run around after taking a bath and well any memory with Goldie is probably my my best pet related memory so far I'm sure and I have some already with my with my doggy uh, but I'm sure I will have uh, better ones 
with her but well 18 years that's that's a lot so that's my answer uh, five what was the last toy you bought your pet well we actually bought uh, five or six at the same time and it was quite a while ago it was in the summer of 2010 when we were in the States uh, visiting with my sister and, and brother-in-law and we went to Petco and we got a lot of toys and uh, this one is one of my fav favorites from that batch and this is just one of those um, bone-shaped uh, rubber toy and she loves it uh, six what is your favorite thing to do with your pet well uh, I love playing with her I love uh, well I love doing a lot of things with her but she does the cutest we have the cutest uh, tradition maybe well I think it's becoming a tradition because she she sleeps in our living room because she sheds a lot of fur and we don't allow her to go to our bedroom so um, uh, every night when I uh, tuck her in and say good night she looks at me with the the cutest face and I love that because I I feel that we're sharing such a we're sharing a moment there and I love that uh, every night we do that and well it's awesome so I think that's my favorite thing to do with her seven what is that one toy that is in such horrible state that you hide every time you have guests that's easy she has a blanket and yes it's almost the same as a, a blankie of a baby toddler but as you can see and this was washed only a few days ago it's in such a horrible mess it's well this is disgusting I don't like it but she loves it so I think we're gonna stick with it for a while but yes I do hide it every time we have guests um, eight have you ever traveled with your pet where and how yes we have uh, only by car but still we've gone to my parents house and my boyfriend's parents house and it's like a three hour drive but she behaves perfectly uh, in like five or ten minutes she is fast asleep and she only wakes up when we arrive so that's that's awesome uh, nine do you have any tips for when it's time to buy food treats toys or going to the vet well I actually do have some tips to buy food food and treats and toys I guess well I don't buy any of these in Portugal um, we're having such horrible horrible high prices and to buy uh, good quality food is really expensive and I buy uh, all of this online actually on amazon.co.uk um, and I am gonna write a post on my blog uh, sharing some tips and some things that you you need to be aware of when you're buying something online and uh, as soon as I write it I'm gonna post the link on the des description box below uh, so you'll you'll have that uh, but yes and going to the vet she hates going to the vet so I don't have any tips if you have any tips for going to the vet and calming her down please share because it's horrible and well it's horrible um, 10 share something that you've learned since becoming a pet mommy and daddy well this is also quite easy um, I've had dogs 
since I was seven and and I do know that made me a better person growing up and and I I do believe that uh, every kid should have a pet while growing up that teaches them so much so many things uh, not only responsibility because we we tend to only think of that with the, um, the feeding and taking it taking outside and such but you also will be teaching humanity to your child and that's amazing uh, 11 uh, tell all future pet owners something you wish someone had told you before you got your pet well as I said before I had pets since I was a little so and I I've learned a lot watching my my parents and um, I I don't know if I needed anyone to t tell me something before I got Nev but uh, my boyfriend never had uh, pets growing up he only had uh, farm animals and uh, well that's really different and one thing I don't think he knew before was how much he would bond with the dog and just watching them play and well I know he wasn't expecting to be uh, to, to feel that way about the dog and I think that if you are a future pet owner if you are thinking of getting a pet for the first time you need to realize that you you will create a bond that will last for as long as the pet is alive and it's almost well you are it's not almost you are adding to your family it's not uh, well I guess it depends on your personality but well to me it's that way uh, what I, I think of my dog as a part of my family if you are looking to adopt a pet you should uh, be aware of that you are adding to your family it is a, res a responsibility but it's so so worth it well um, and that's it uh, I hope you liked it I'm gonna tag uh, some people I first tag my sister I'm trying to uh, convince her to make a YouTube video well let's see if she will do that but my sister uh, my sister's Twitter name is Draclusa uh, I also tag Emily Noel 83 from Beauty Broadcast uh, and Anna Sacconi from The Style Diet and X Parkage because well, I've been watching uh, their videos and I feel that they have the same bond with their pets that I have with mine. I'm really curious to watch their videos and I really hope they do that. Say bye! Bye! This is Nev! Oh, bye! There! <laughs>